Alright guys, King David King, King King David King, Muti Devon Takwat was back with another episode of this collision, the final cut. One other episode of the full playthrough that we are doing, and we are doing it great. Last episode was fantastic. Finally, we analyzed again the body, and we find something. He's not being lynched, okay? There was a fucking guy that killed him, shot him with an old rifle, okay? for 50 wars wars in the 50s so yeah pretty good news and now we have uh, other things to do to solve the case and see who is the murderer okay so you know what let's change the camera real quick and let's investigate let's go we have plenty of things to do the day is long and yeah Let's see what we can do. So I guess now what? Yeah, now I can... Uh, I don't know, for me this guy is the drug dealer, but we didn't know still. By the way, I want to talk to the, guy, to the girl too. You know what, before we do anything else in the wheeling and rags... Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the, point, the thing that I've seen. There's something down there. The must, the musty smell of of a potato cellar in spring emanates from our van. Okay. Potato cellar. Let me go check that out in just a second. I know where it is, but I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. Maybe there are some thoughts that I need to... I hope I don't know. I don't have to pay, by the way, for the Wheeling Rags room just to wash myself. Because I don't want to do that. Now I have a free house. Come on. I have the keys to sleep. Why did I want to sleep again in the Whirling in Rex? Let me see, some thoughts, some new thoughts here? I don't think so. Potato smell, blah, blah, blah. Well, for now, nothing to do here. Officer, let's go. This is fantastic. So, let's talk again to the lady. Now we did pretty. We have, uh, yeah, and in that area we have a lot of things to do. Let's call it a day and let's go. That's pretty fucking fantastic. Oh, maybe we can talk to this guy about this this gun, you know? Vigilance officer, what can this old carabineer do? Oh, I can try this. I understand, Jan Marie meant a lot to you. There's nothing for you to understand here. It is not out there if you are investigating. Okay, this is the whole thing. Where are the circumstances for that in any sense? Unusual? Absolutely not. She died of pneumonia in her bed at the age of 79. This is highly usual. 79? Well, where was the photo of you two taken? Revachal Fair, 91, in the Forberg district. A parade was held to honor Guillaume Lullion's name day, and the Carabineers marched in the place of honor. You looked happy in the picture, smiling. This was the happiest day of my life. What happened with you, Gaston and Jean-Marie? I was 22 when I returned from King Guillaume's Akira operation in the south and found my sweetheart in the arms of this wretch. You know what? I was hoping not to hear this story that I don't give a damn two cents about it. I was hoping to hear something about, you know, rifles from this guy. Because now we know that the body hanged was shot with an old war rifle. The Ikea operation Whoa. was a seven-year campaign during which okay. suzerain Guillaume's army forcefully united the people in the southeastern part of La Petite Continent, collectively okay. known as the Ikea tribes under the Revacholian banner. Encyclopedia is the top. Knowledge reigns supreme. I won her back, but while I was dealing with some issues... What? You were like a dark cloud sucking the joy out of every living thing around you. And you... You... Hurt her. Hmm. I... Uh, I... Uh... Hmm. He looks down at his boots, lips moving, but the words are inaudible. Those days and memories are gone. He looks and... Uh, he nods and looks Rene with something resembling compassion. Experience, fantastic. And now, let's try this. Unfortunately, Fuck! 
there doesn't seem to be anything worth mentioning among your achievements, you should resort to good old lying. I had a dog, Fifi. What? Took her finishing later on. Uh, I don't know. Rene. I'm ex Army 2, Special Force, Black Hawk, Secret Soldier. No. Lying is just in my style. Rather right get back to questions. But of course, sire. Looks like they're waiting for you to speak. Yeah. And here's some new dialogues since I am here. It is such a pleasure to see you again, officer. Oh. How may I head the citizens' militia on this fine day? A sandwich. I'm angry. I want to ask you the union sure, again. Officer. Well, no. Not now, apparently. But I know what I want to do now. So let's go. Run! Is this the guy that we need to talk about about the drugs thing? Let me see. Everything's yes. here, officer. So ceiling, what's your stance on drugs? Drugs? I don't go in for that, officer. Drugs ruin lives. Okay. Unless you're into drugs, of course. In which case, drugs are excellent. Mwah. Tasty, tasty drugs. Oh, I'm super into drugs. That's very cool. A lot of the coolest detectives do drugs. Sadly, I don't have any drugs on sale, or at my home, or on my person. Sir, it appears to be true. No drugs in sight. Not in the box of sunglasses or under the speakers. I actually don't like That's drugs. Cool. Especially after you already said you're into them. All the coolest detectives in the movies do drugs. And are very conflicted about it. Still, no drugs here. So, we're looking for a lorry driver who's transporting drugs out of the harbor. He or she is in the traffic jam. That's even cooler. You investigating that and all. But, uh, I am not a lorry driver. I'm just a street vendor. I don't know anything about that. Hmm. A blatant lie, sire. Yet he tells it with such conviction. We'd believe him if we didn't know better. But you are a lorry man, and another driver has identified you and your lorry. Who said that? Hmm. It's the fat racist, right? <laughs> I bet it's him. He has an agenda against me because I'm an immigrant who works harder than he does. He's a hater. Huh. So you admit you're a lorry driver? No, I just said I work harder and he's an asshole. I'm... He stops to think. Realizing he can't get out of it. Huh. Smart man. Okay, maybe I'm a lorry driver too. A hmm. little. But that's not the most important thing about me. That's my day job. This is my dream. He spread his arms. So you forgot to tell me? Exactly. It's such a small part of my life. It's in the rear view mirror now. I'm climbing out of that hole with ingenuity. Hmm. Stop squirming. What do you know about the drug operation at the harbor? Nothing. I told you. I'm not a dumb guy. I don't get involved with that crowd. And what crowd is that? Hmm. Crowd, you know, the drug crowd. No, he wasn't talking about an abstract crowd. It was that crowd. It wasn't some drug crowd. You know who they are. Tell me now. Shush, please. There's bad people doing bad things here. That's all I know. Please, don't get me into this mess. I spent 15 years working my way up. Talk. It's easy. Here we go. There's a tiny bit of truth on the table. Zoom in on it. If you don't want to get into the, this mess, raise your voice. You have to give us a reason to move on. It's a she, okay? The other drivers call her the lady driver. You're better off staying away from her. The way they talk about her. She's no lady. I know who she is. Interesting. Could this driver be connected to the Hardy Boys? 
Maybe. What are these other drivers who talk? All of them. I don't know. I told you all I know. Are we cool now? I really want us to be cool now. Let's see. Who exactly is talking about this lady driver of yours? The racist or the other one with the tattoos? Hmm. All of them. Even the ones who've left. I don't hang out with them. I don't remember who has tattoos. Here's the lady driving the whole woman back there. Point to the pale, pale driver. That's that strange. I don't know. Maybe if she is, I haven't gone near her. I don't get involved. I told you. He's not ruling her out. Could she be associated with the Hardy Boys? I don't know. I'm not local. I don't know anything about that. Okay, we're cool now. Let's get hmm. this off with the parches. Now we can, can try this again. Funky sunglasses, detective. Both of you, you deserve it. Give me money, please. Start yes! A compliment, then work your way up from there. This is about business, remember? Hey, you seem li like a really successful entrepreneur. Would you like to support a member of the local police force? Oh, okay. Hmm. But why, officer? After all this mess, the broken seals lying to you? Come on. Think of it as an investment. An investment? What kind of investment? It's an investment in me. Highly experimental human being. My risk reward ratio is insane. I invest into the me into me not telling you employer about an operation here. I'm a policeman. It's an investment in good relations with the RCM. It's an investment your customer base got. Nah. It's an investment in me. Highly experimental human being. My risk reward ratio is insane. I guess it can't be any riskier than speculating in exotic derivatives. How much are we talking about here? 1 million real. 10 real. 10 real is a bargain for that kind of investment. You got it, my man. <laughs> Thank you. I'll leave you for it now. Perfect execution. So I guess I will feel less... Hmm. So at least we, we know it's a she. That's good enough. And let's do that. You know what? Let's do this first. I want to talk to the other lady. Now that we have the badge. But let's talk. Let's try with this guy. This guy. I hate this guy. Make way for the master poet. I heard that one of the drivers is a woman, but I don't think she's here. Do you know this lady driver? I don't want to talk about that. Why? Do you know something? What is it? Man, I was hoping it isn't going to be her. All I can say is, she isn't around here anymore. She isn't some evil drug trafficker. And I don't know where she is. She isn't some evil drug trafficker? I asked you who is conducing the truck trade. You asked you don't didn't know. Now you're saying you do. I did it, man. I told you I was hoping it's not her. That she wouldn't be mixed up in it. Hmm. It's true. We would have caught a lie. But a kind heart is tricky. Hmm. Ah, emotional rhetoric. He knew something and he didn't share it with you. That's a fact. Yeah, so who is this person? What's her name? Thank God I don't know. People here mm. call her the Lady Driver. She kept her name a secret. For me too. Now I see why. Hmm. Who is she to you? A friend? An acquaintance. I don't know. She was the only person in this damn jam I could talk to. She's someone I don't want to rat out to the law, okay? What does she look like? A youngish woman. Gruff, but in a cool way. What could our hair? Blue and violet. Died. It mm. was violet when she got here. Blue before she went. Then she may have died it again. Hmm. When did she leave? Damn, I don't want to... Please just let it go. Whatever she did, it can't be that bad. She's not a bad person. I know that much. We can't just let it go. It's part of a police investigation. That's how it always is with you, isn't it? All part of the investigation. Well, yes. 
The girl's trouble. If you hunt her down, she may not survive it. I can't have that on my conscience. Come on, you stupid fat fuck that you're not fat. That's the point. It won't come <laughs> to that. We won't pursue her on this. This is information on me. I don't believe you. Believe us. It really is. I just can't, man. I'm not naive. You say she's troubled. How? She's got the darkness in her. That young person's darkness when you think it's all over. And you're looking for a way out. Mm. She shared this with you? Yes. Which is why I don't want to snitch on her. It's not snitching. It's just a few questions. It's snitching, man. I know what it is. I was told everyone's afraid of her. You're not... I heard the rumors. I saw the other drivers looking at me strange when we talked. And she told me, too, that she's had a violent life. But I wasn't afraid of her. More like for her. <laughs> Did this violent life include drug trafficking? Well... It looks like it did now, but we didn't talk about that. We talked about life, you know? She talked about her mind. Hold on. Her mind? The way it worked. The trouble it was giving her. The pain it was causing her. Hmm. When she left, did she, did she leave her lorry behind? Fuck, man. Go grill someone else with these questions, okay? Hmm. There are plenty of drivers here who couldn't stand her or were afraid of her. They'd be more than happy to rat her out. He's right. There are other options. The race man for one. Hmm. The grey-haired woman. Maybe she knows something. Wait. This guy says they're friends. Then, acquaintances. And he's okay with others ratting her out. Now is not the time to focus on feelings. You need that info, son. So, you are right with others ratting her out? You just don't want your hands dirty? Fine. I don't want to be a butcher, and I don't want to be a knight either. I just want to be a person who can sleep at night. A little fame wouldn't hurt too. Hmm. So, put yourself in my shoes. I need this for another investigation too. It's important. I can't blow it. You're not going to put a bullet in your head if you blow it, are you? Because she's on the edge, man. I wouldn't be so sure, Tommy. She's a suspect and I need you to tell me where she is. Or I can't finish my investigation. I... I thought you were a different kind of cop. Where is the lady driver? Here. He takes a caring from his pocket, then looks at it before giving it to you in silence. The keys to a motor lorry. Whoa. Pretty complex. Looks like a chain lock. Fantastic. The lorry's still here. Down past the statue of Philippe. The cabin is green. You can get in there with these. That's all I know. When did she leave? Last Friday. He blinks. His eyes half empty now. Anything else? Like where she is now? No. I don't know. And why did you have the keys? She left them to me. Because she trusted me. So I can get it out of the way when the jam breaks loose. Otherwise... Well... She made the wrong choice. You're a bitch. You're a snitch. Okay? He doesn't finish the sentence. The other drivers would have <laughs> to tow it or break in to get the machines moving. But you know, we are the police. So yeah, he, 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 I think he did the right choice in some way. At least if we see the duty way, if you see the fact that it's to us, the police. He nods. If they break in, they would find what's hidden inside. Something incriminating. I'm sorry, I had to do this. I bet you are. One more thing, about something else. Nah, I need to think nah. my own thoughts now. Pray forgiveness for my sins. Huh. Go check your cabin. I hope it gets you something. Help someone. <laughs> sorry, your sins? What are your sins? Well, maybe it's something else, but now it's not a sin what you do. You have the police. It's good. And not a normal police. You have me. Dick Mullen. Huh? So, think about that. You have Dick Mullen, the famous one. The, the superstar. So, what's the... Ooh, maybe the lore is this. Maybe... Is this the lorry one? 
Is this the place? A lorry stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grab-made machine. Okay, look in the, the window. Windows up. Fumes of heavy fuel oil waft over you, making your eyes sting. The odor mixes with cigarettes. Let me see. Exactly, yes. This guy's prouder for years. Drapes it all over his machine. He was acting tough. Okay, no, no. We did this already. That's why I skipped. That's why I, get, I go fast and, and uh, you know. So now what? This thing? No, this thing. No. Well, that's gonna be, yeah, something. Oh, and this? Is this new, right? This green found A to Z. Contempora is parked in the shadow of the ruins looming overhead. It's seen better days. Okay. This is the one our man pointed to. Try to pick in the window. The glass on the side windows is tinted and covered with dust. You can barely make out the shape of the seat and two steering levers. Okay. Posters cover the small windows in the back. You can't make out what's on them. Try the door handle. The door is locked. The handle looks shiny, like it's recently replaced. Okay. There's no pick in this lock. The owner has put special care into it. It's a recessed design. So, unlock the door with the key Tom gave you. You push the key into the lock and Whoa, turn. fantastic. It makes a cracking sound. Then the door pops back a few centimeters. You can just... Open it, yeah. The smell of cigarettes and perfume welcomes you. The cabin inside is plastered with old movie posters. Actresses smile from the walls. There's a radio transmitter in the front and a toolbox tucked under the driver's seat. Some tools lie scattered near the pedals. Okay. There's something odd about the passenger seat. The seating fabric has been pulled tight over the lower side of the seat where the toolbox should be. I admire the posters. These are movie posters featuring starlets from long forgotten films from the 20s, the teens, even the 90s of the last century. Okay. One of them particularly catches your eye. A centerfold of an ingenue attached right above the back seat. Okay. There's definitely perfume in the air. It's spicy with a hint of amberette wafting through the bitter air of the cabin. So, stop and wonder. What's that smell? The remnants of a sweet juniper scented perfume. Probably grenade number five. So, stood in the center for, right? The actress is draped in a sheath dress, one hmm. of her shoulders bared. The faded remains of an autograph run across the poster. She's looking past the camera. Wait, doesn't she resemble someone you know? But you can't put your finger on whom exactly. Hmm. This is Tip Tijon, a oh. starlet from the dawn of cinematography. Okay. Less known for her talent than her tragic, untimely death. What happened to her? She wasted away in a drug den called Door to the River. Okay. Not far from here, on Boogie Street. Oh, a here. mixture of cocaine and morphine. She was afraid of the world and the camera, too. I don't think she's the... Yeah, I know of this poster. The actresses and the rear actor all smile you a warm goodbye. A radio transmitter is attached to the dashboard oh, and a toolbox sits under the driver's seat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we store something from the toolbox? Absolutely. Examine the radio. Looks like the frequency dial is absent. It requires a key to work, but the key has been removed. Likely by the missing lady driver. Okay. Strange. There are so many radio stations here. There must be over 100 at least. Hmm. It has to be an advanced model to fit so many frequencies next to each other without blending them together. We wouldn't anyone need so many radio stations. For contacting an entire fleet of lorrymen, for example. This is all shortwave, UW and UKV. Looks mm. like we are dealing with an impressive organizational tool. The nerve center of a huge operation. With quite a range too. Mm. A 20 kilometer radius at least. Perhaps extended by an attachable antenna that's not here right now. Is there anything we can do with the radio? Uh, doesn't look like it. It's completely inoperable without the dial key. Hmm. What else is here? The ghostly actresses and the rusty toolbox under the driver's seat and the oddly bulging seat cover. 
Check the pedals. You wedge yourself under the steering wheel to get a better look. Seems like the few tools lying around here, a hammer, a pair of pliers, a oh, rusty wrench oh. have been casually thrown there by the disorganized driver. Hammer? But one odd detail does catch Can we take eye. that? A piece of sandpaper has been glued to the throttle. Hmm. Sandpaper adds extra grip. Looks like the driver had glued a piece of sandpaper to the throttle to offer some extra grip. Sandpaper? Another technique? The sandpaper would also rub off the pattern from the driver's right boot sole. Yes. One of the footprints at the crime scene had an aberration. One sole was smoother than the other. Oh. Which means that the missing lady driver was present at the lynching. Oh my god. Whoa. How this is going is fantastic. Wait, the missing head? Hardy here? Looks like her, yes. So we're gonna talk to the Unum boys again, and they are trafficking drugs too. How do I have known that now? And she's also the one running the drug trade. What a handful. Now we know for certain who is the missing eighth person at the lynching. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? Those jerks? Definitely. We should see what Titus has got to say on the matter. Are we finished with the lorry? Now, the movie stars are still peel off the cover on the, the passenger walls. seat. The yeah. radio, voila, a stack of neatly folded papers has been stashed behind the seating fabric. You see three maps depicting a large metropolitan area. It's Revachon. Some of its routes and highways have been outlined with a pen. Okay, bonne prise. The lieutenant comments. You as you shift through the treasure, well worn and fold into the net squares. Fold open the to topmost map. This large map displays the elevated motorway called 881. The intake leading to Martinez is marked with a blue X. There's another X on the off ramp at a place called the Old South. All right. Toll booths at the intakes are marked with a circle. It looks like there are scant few ways of getting onto the elevated motorway that runs over Jamrock. And this person knows them all. There, hundreds of thousands of motor carriages roar on the 881, high above the mass of brown and red roofs that is Jamrock. The commuters don't even look down. The world ceases to exist outside the windshield. So where does the road lead? To Kuro, through the middle income neighborhoods there, by the river, and then to Stella Maris and La Delta for work, while the men and women of Jamro scuttle to their fates below the road. Fold open the second map. This municipal map from the 30s displays a complex system of storm sewers underneath a sub-district called the Pox, old military hospital right adjacent to the 41st precinct. Wow. Look at the third map. The final map displays a labyrinth of service tunnels left over from the construction of motorway 881. Wow. A few routes have been marked with a pen, where the tunnels and sewers surface near the eminent domain and a traffic island in central Jamrock by the lake. Oh. These service tunnels were probably used during the construction of the foundation beneath the motorway. Looks like the smugglers have infiltrated the road network belonging to East Motor Tract. The smugglers have infiltrated the motor track. So it would seem. The lieutenant examines the maps with forward bro. The RCM patrols most of these auxiliary roads, though apparently not all of them. Where does the contraband end up? Hard to say. This distribution network looks certainly large, yet still vague enough. It doesn't reveal much about the Besmerti behind it. Besmerti? That sounds vaguely familiar. The Besmerti is a Revacholian crime syndicate. Okay. They see themselves as the inheritors of the 14 Revacholian Indian tribes. But really, they're just violent gangs vying for control on the west side of Revachol. Okay. With cool names like La Puta Madre and hmm. Aura Mazda. It's a dark parody. La Puta Madre! La Hura Mazda! So, who do you think is behind this? It's definitely not the Union. They just do some logistics. This operation has spread everywhere in Jamrock. If it's that widespread, then Madre remains the most likely suspect. Here's bad news. 
There have been attempts at a serious investigation before, but they haven't ended well for those involved. Okay. Especially bad news for cops who may have something in their past they don't even know is there. Well, like me. <laughs> Return the stack of paper under the scene. Best not to disturb the scene. I'll have forensics go over the lorry and pick this up later. Okay. The stack of maps looks Finally, just like before. Finally, I hope something for Very me. Noticeable. The movie stars look silently by, and the pull-out toolbox has a rubber handle, worn from years of use. Pull out the pull-out toolbox. The drawer slides out from the seat. It's empty, except for a folded newspaper. Come on, I was hoping for some tools, like some new cool gadget to use. You know, like Xpector gadget, but in a weird way, in a simple way, like a hammer, for example. But hell no, unfold the newspaper. It's an issue of Petit Ferique from last Wednesday. A piece of paper falls out from its pages. Petit Ferique? Hmm? Pick up the note. It looks like an article ripped out from a radio enthusiast magazine. Complex mathematical equations explain the basics of something called the ULAN frequency system. Ooh. These formulas look oddly painful. Maybe it's the hangover, but they give you a headache. By the way, still hangover? Come on! Is this not the third day? The ULAN frequency system? I've never heard of that before. I know of FM, AM, UKV, but... I read this already, ULAN frequency, somewhere. Maybe... Where the where is the polar bear? Maybe it's something about the radio towers and things like that. Push the pull out toolbox. Pull out toolbox slides back into its nest. The rest is as it was. Posters, a radio, dust on the windows. A second, close the door now. He closed the rusty old lorry door. Okay. Great. I think we got everything. All Over right, here, detective. Before we return to Joyce. Hmm. Well, before we return to Joyce, huh? I had the... I had the... Oh, yeah. I can talk to him. Absolutely, Kim. All right. We've finished here. Let's quickly debrief and go over what we found. So we don't do it in front of the company rep. Seems like something police will do. What do you think of all this, Kim? Honestly, I'm quite worried by what we've seen so far. <laughs> the evidence seems to point to a rather extensive and well-organized operation. And that's a problem for the two of us, because we are only the two of us, you know? I'm especially intrigued by that radio transmitter, particularly the sheer number of stations it can connect. Looks like this alleged drug trade casts a wide net. Okay. This means that's true. it's well-funded. Technology like that, a major player must be financing it. Hmm. I'm not sure what the ULAN frequencies are all about. For me, it's important. Hold some significance. Absolutely. Perhaps it's Absolutely. a better way to connect between fleets while avoiding frequency bleed. Or maybe it's used to tap into RCM networks. Hmm. Listening in on your calls between you and your station. A worrying prospect. Super worry. Oh, and the maps we found. They reveal the geographical extent of the operation. Looks like they've used abandoned tunnels and access roads to stay hidden. This is useful info. Hmm. And last True. but not least, it looks like the Hardy Boys knew this driver, as we know that she was present at the lynching. This may be the union connection we've been searching for. Absolutely. The probe and the case converged, he thinks. This was quite the find. What about the movie posters? How do they factor into all as this? As elegant as they are, I don't think they are relevant to the drug trade. Hmm. Don't be fooled. Desire always plays a role. A lot of women there, especially for lady driver's cabin. Maybe the trader in some sort of cinephile. Could the film industry be involved? Number one. Yes, well... He doesn't say more. Number two. No, wait. Will the RCM open an investigation into this? Nah, let's not say it for now. So it turns out this is connected to the Union. Like Joyce told us, yes, logistically. But don't expect to bust this open during our stay here. At best, this is an angle we can use against them to other ends as extra ammunition. Will the RCM open investigation into this? I guess no. We should return to the murder case. See what Joyce tells us about the lynching. 
When we are done for the day, I call my station and suggest our narcotics department to look into it. All right. There are more than enough grounds to start an official investigation. Sometime later, when we are done here. We do not want to get caught in that. Okay, what are you thinking? The fact that one hasn't started already gives me pause. An investigation, I mean. Especially if the Madre grouping is involved, and I can't imagine there aren't. It's certainly worrisome. Corruption? All the same, I don't like the hmm. idea of internal affairs descending on the matter. That won't help anyone either. Okay, debrief over? Debrief over. After you. Perfect. Fucking perfect. So confront Hardy Boys in the drug trade. Absolutely. We're gonna do that. A person present at the lynching is also involved with the drug trade through the harbor, which links them to the Hardy Boys. See what Titus has to say about it. Yeah, stupid Titus. But before we do that, well, we have uh, a lot of things to do actually in Wheeling and Rex. But you know what I want to do first? I want to talk first to the other, you know, how the hell they called, I forgot. Let me see, I can do something here. <coughs> What's this? Maybe there's something here. You notice something about the statue. Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass around where the heart is. A bullet? Hmm. Someone shot him in the heart. Interesting. This is new. Lieutenant says someone shot the king, point to the indentation. Okay, I can't see it, but I take your word for it. What do you think? Well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Target practice or a political statement? None of the above. Maybe it's connected to the murder. If we connect every bullet hole in Martinez to the murder, <laughs> we'll get an overwhelming amount of loose threads. But then again, our guy was shot. And that hole would be recent. Okay. It's not completely tangential. At least worth noting down. I wouldn't hold my breath, though. Okay. The king stands high above you, surveying the bay, mute and indifferent to your sightings. And let the king stay where it is. Let's talk to this lady now. Let me see why she lied about the drug trafficking. I guess everyone knows, Look, right? You caught me at an opportune moment. This awful weather keeps me awake. You can entertain me with your questions. What do I need drugs for, Lowman? What I see, what I feel, the great adversary, no drugs can compare. Then what were you getting at? Maybe if she thought you're corrupt. Herbert sent me. Who? Oh, place a finger on side of your nose and tap twice. Who the fuck is Herbert? The union ah, boss. And what do I care about the union boss? He's no Gabriel. He's no Franco Negro. He's not even Herman Aguildo the Hound. Fine, let's change Good. subject. I'll let's go. I want to talk to the fat guy too. The stupid uh, racist fat guy. Absolutely. But let me see, there's something else, someone else that you know what? Let's talk to the fat guy. Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? Hmm, what's there? Why are you howling? Let me see your howling. Oh not much anymore. Apples. Apples. It's exactly the kind of thing you'd say. Apples? Yeah, apples. I take it you had... Fuck you, okay. Simply I have nothing to say, so... Let's go talk to... You know, the lady. And then... Well... Then we'll see. Hey, wait, I forgot, right? Yeah, I need to do something here before we go talk to the lady. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. Uh, hold up the radio. Precinct 57, how may I assist you? Public library. Hold on, officer. Absolutely. I've got Central Democratic Public Library on the line and I've already introduced you to the librarian. 
Connecting the cord in two. Perfect. One. Alisa, Alicia, or how the hell you called. Great job. Yes, this is Central Jamrock Public Library here. How can I help you, officer? I'm looking for any information that you can provide on Billy Mahan, a radio. Billy, Billy Mahan, you said. Give me a moment, I'll have to check our database. Okay, he puts down the receiver. Yes, hello, are you still there? Yes. I found Billy Mahan's home address, is that alright? No phone number, unfortunately. Hmm. They're too poor to have a phone line. Yes, home address is fine. Here we go, sir. Rue de saint Gislaine, 33B, apartment number 20. It's in Martinez, I believe. Capeside Apartments, it says. That's okay. All. By the pier, north of here, those big apartment buildings there. Do you have any other information on Billy Mahal? It says here that they returned their last book just a few days ago. But I wasn't at work that day. Do you know someone who was? Marie? Marie, do you remember a reader named Billy Majon? They returned a Tibalt book the other day. You hear someone answer for a fire. Maurice, what? A woman yells. Then, yes, yes, okay. If it was the police, she, she starts, starts explaining okay. something. Yes, it, it was my colleague Marie. Uh, she said that it was Billy's husband who returned the book. He also asked for this new sci-fi release, Lowe's Radio City 87, but we don't have it yet. Okay. Good. You have a name now. So Billy Mejian is a woman, not a man. How did your colleague know that it was her husband? Marie knows Billy. She's been working here longer than me. Sometimes her husband returns some books for her. Do you know the husband's name? Sorry, no. Marie only knows him by sight. Can Marie describe to me what the husband looked like? Marie! Huh. She said it was an older man, and that she's pretty sure he'd had a drink or two the last time she saw him. What was he wearing? Uh, one second. What was he wearing? Hmm. The librarian turned us away from the phone again and relied to the question. Sorry, Marie wasn't really paying any attention to that. Okay, thank you. That's all for me. I have no other questions and the call with the library. Happy we could help. Perfect. Goodbye, New skill officer. point. Anything else you need from me? I'm done with the radio for now, right? Let me try again this. Still no word, I'm afraid, sir. I know it must be frustrating. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? No. I'm done with the radio for now. Thank you, Alisa. 57th, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of still... Perfect. So now, we have new things about this, and we have a skill that I don't want to use, not for now, or maybe sooner than later, I don't know, what I have in my hand by the way. Oh yeah, I can see that. I don't know why it was... Yeah, maybe the way I was running, yeah. Let's go. He's here, right? No. Not here. It's gonna be from here, I guess. Oh. Let me talk again to this guy first. Maybe he can say something else now that... Everything's still cool here, officer. Yeah. And I'm cool too with you for now. Unless you do some stupid shit. For now I'm cool. Let's go here. Uh oh. Hey, wait. Whoa. What have we here? A bridge? A bridge with loose nails and rotten fisted wood that creaks in the wind. A construction code violation if there ever was one. Whatever, let death come. I'm a Revachonian badass. Kim, it looks like we've got a construction code violation. True. They never cleaned up the wall damage. The rest of Revachon looks better, though. 
Well, Lieutenant, think about the splinters. The bridge is fine enough. Locals use it all the time, after all. It's nothing to worry about. Shall we? If you say so. Alright, let's go. So. Can I do this or still, uh. Just an ordinary war. Nothing like that. My god, here. still low. I have five conceptualization. Come on, how many do you want? Yeah, it's still too low. 8% is too low. So now maybe I can do this with the lady, right? Let me see. A can I try? Door. This could be a way into the 92, wow. The man vanished into. Oh, there's... No reply. You can hear faint sweeping inside. A gust of wind blows through your clothes. Okay. You're yes! well versed in the kind of threatening legalese that implies criminal liability, but in fact has no meaning whatsoever. Ma'am, your non compliance is hiring a police matter. I may force to refer you a potential persecution. Obviously, look at that vague yet threatening Let stuff. Let me do I am uh, MI first. From your mouth. I know my right, and don't you mom me, boy. Huh. But the sweeping on the other side has stopped. Miss, would it help if we offer to show you our badges? Ah, it's like a carrot to the stick. I have mine. Hold your horses. <laughs> Hear the click of, of a night lack before the lady on the other side gets caught in a coven spot. I don't care about your stinking badge. Yes. Coming. I have the key. And we're gonna do that, but after we talk to this lady here, that's for sure what is gonna happen. Talk to me. Let me see. You're back. Yeah. Good. What can I help you with? By the way, let me see this. Well, I, I've done pretty. Whoa. Now that I'm controlling this, wow, a lot of things. Even some hidden ones, but I don't know, they don't show me. I don't like this. You know what? Some tasks are hidden. I understand that. But when I complete a hidden task, so I did it. Show me! I did it! Why don't you show me here the task marked like this? Because I did it, okay? So, it's okay. It's hidden. And I can see. It's random. I need to find that in the world. That's good. But when I complete it, show me in the menu. Why not? You, why you can't show me there? So at least, uh, you know, under the hidden uh, things. But okay. So I spoke with the lorry man at the roundabout. Wait. By the way, I talked to her about Claire. Wait. Show, your, sh show her your badge. I found my badge, by the way. Love you did. She inspects the, the piece of blue plastic, her eyes scanning from left to right. She is memorizing your badge number. Okay. Pleased to meet you, Lieutenant W. Freighter Dubois. I am glad to see a man of high qualification. The situation is precarious. Yeah, what no can talk. I help you with, Lieutenant Tia Freighter? Hmm. How about you share your information on the Dinchi? Now that you've seen his badge. Yeah. The goalposts have moved, Lieutenant. In the absence of the badge, I have informed my employer there will be a probe. What? I cannot rescind that promise. To my knowledge, the drivers are still at the roundabout. I will tell you everything I know when you've finished with them. This was your plan all along. My plan is to share information. The only way to do that now is by telling my employers you've kept your end, which I hope you will. Because let me tell you, we are in dire waters. <sighs> I did the talk already, girl. But fuck you, okay? Meaning, the information she has will raise the stakes in this game. How bad can the info she has be? The sooner the probe is finished, the sooner I can share crucial information with you. Now, yeah, is there yeah. anything I can do for you in the meanwhile? Tea, perhaps? Fuck you. That's More what you're gonna do. in basic reality? Oh, I can do this My too. Wow. Go ahead. Ask me wow. Pl 97. Let me see this. 
Six yes. kilometers southwest in the Valley of Dogs. Junior officer Chad Tilbrook takes aim at a rabid black dog licking its wounds in the grass. To his left, his partner, Emil Mullins, whispers, you heard what happened to Tequila Sunset in Martinez? Hmm. Yes, he lost his mind, Tilbrook answers, fingers on the trigger. Don't worry, Emil. He pulls it out slowly. Slowly now. He'll find it again. Whoa. We always do. What am I? You? You're an officer of the RCM. The Revachol Citizen Militia. Preciso Mundo. Preciso Mundo. Precisamente. Yeah. Good. And what is the Revachol Citizens Militia? Nothing more nor less than the de facto law enforcement body of post revolutionary Revachol, Detective. Yes. We are the Revachol Citizens Militia. Hmm. He's being sarcastic. Are we? We are. You say de facto? Yes. That means not de jure. The RCM acts in what is poetically called the twilight of international law, both at the behest of the coalition government and to its chagrin. What do you mean? The RCM's responsibilities are defined by the Emergency, Wayfarer and Aliments Acts, three pieces of legislation keeping okay. the city in a, let's be honest, laissez-faire stasis to the benefit of foreign capital. All right. All three are good to know when we are out hmm. policing. Hmm. So I'm basically a lackey of capital. There's nothing basic about your role, detective. It's true that the RCM keeps everything the way our seemingly permanent provisional rulers like it. Okay, she leans in. Yet, on the other hand, I know these people. I deal with them daily. Let me tell you, dear, they are not fans of you. Why? The post-revolutionary decade was a disaster for the coalition government. Revachol in the 20s was hell, especially on the west side of the river. Gang warfare, a botched privatization scheme, a nuclear pile meltdown. They called it the International Zone because no nation wanted to claim responsibility. The RCM okay. restored peace where the coalition failed. A true blue citizen's initiative. They will never forgive you. Okay. That's somewhat of an exaggeration. In reality, ours is a mutually beneficial arrangement. Mm. Ravacholians get to keep the peace in Ravachol, and the coalition doesn't Tell have to worry about it. <laughs> anyway, sorry to intrude. Please continue. Yes, Lieutenant. Experience. Permit me to conclude with this. Who you are, to me, is the police. The only legitimate law enforcement authority in Ravachol. Hmm. Thank you, ma'am. And if those authorities drink so hard they need help recalling the basic terms of reality, well, I'm here to help. Again? Nothing no. More. Yes, we are the Revachol Citizens Militia. He's being sarcastic. Yes. Not again. That means not. Permit me to conclude with this. Who you are to me is the police. Okay. The only legitimate law enforcement All right. authority. And if those authorities... So let's try so this. Hard, ...they need help recalling the basic terms of reality. Well, I am here to well, help. I hope I can do this, but it's very high. Plus 12, jamais vous trois complete. Plus 2 dollars a day, 97%. Yes! All of this. The scent. The sound. The air. What world is this? What world? Yeah, what world? The only one, I suppose. The world of matter. And its pale antipode. Okay. The camera of her mind glides over the surface of the water. What do you see? Great bodies of water. Forest-covered hmm. surfaces. Clusters of light where the cities lie. You've seen the montage. We all have. This world is enough. She concludes. There is a term of endearment they coined for it in the DeLorean century, when humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these archipelagos included. What is it? Elysium. Elysium, whoa. What is the one with evil apes? Not in this case, no. Okay. That sounds more like something the Mesk 
petrofascists might say. Her gaze wanders. The Confederate Republic of Mesk, the world's largest state by territory, has fallen into an especially nihilistic strain of nationalism lately. Okay. It isn't enough to call us animals. Even animals aren't animals. What are animals then? They're like you and I, I suppose. Hmm. Living organisms don't identify with abstractions. Elysium is for particular beings. So, Elysium, the world needs a term of ender and endearment. Come on, these terms. Fuck these terms and fuck my better in their English too. Okay? 50 50. Balance things. These terms are okay, what they are. And my internet English is bad too. This world does not deserve a term of entertainment. Let's try this. Elysium. It wow. does. There are those who would go in hell. Call it hell. Hell. What is hell? A term of hatred that originates like many such things with the Mesk Petro fascists. I don't feel like I have got the whole picture yet. Oh, you want a picture of the world? There is no complete yep. set yet, dear. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. How come? But great things are difficult to achieve. For now, we're viewing the world from the inside, sideways. How about... It's a ball? That's looking less and less likely, Detective. You wouldn't know it from the tabloids. But the ORG nations have been launching weather balloons into the lower ionosphere since the 30s. Okay. ORG. Occident Rivershaw Grad. There's a steadily increasing trickle of images. Between the big three, they're piecing together a dark grey corona. A dark grey corona? Yes. She poses. Pale covers 72% of the surface. Hmm. There are grey flares and prominences. Even arcs above entire Isolas. The images are blurry, but if there was a sphere in there, it certainly looks like it fractured a long time ago. Mm. A cold fear seeps into you. Oh my god, wait. What the hell are you telling me? You seem to be spooked. Mm. Please don't be. Oh no. Her voice becomes homely, calm. She lets a moment pass. The pale... And what do you mean, Corona? They say there is a rarefied envelope of matter surrounding the darkened disk of our planet. That is, if we are still living on a planet. Or, to speak more plainly, imagine vast swathes of land disrupted by nothingness. Okay. I am sorry, dear. It must sound quite terrifying through the acute encephalopathy. Even scientific positivism isn't entirely convinced about what we're dealing with here. Okay. But this is one of the greatest questions of our time. Hmm. Maybe when they get the complete set together, it will jolt us out of our rut, bring us together, however naive it may sound. Hmm. A fractured corona doesn't feel like it's going to bring anyone together. You have misimagined it. Okay. I don't Why? have the power to convey to you the effect and geometry of the images that depict our world from below low orbit. It's it's like the crowning of the world. It's insane. Very disco. You'd love it. Well, if you say it's disco, <laughs> everyone finds something worth holding on to in this world, however wasted its opportunities. Okay. Suddenly you're conscious of yourself standing there, on whatever this all is. Your arms hang down by your sides. Okay. The lieutenant observes you both, silently. He adjusts his glasses. You said pale. What is pale? The pale is not, technically speaking, part of reality. Okay. Yes. Also, I think we've had enough excitement for today. We do have a case to attend to. Of course, lieutenant. Let's try something else. I don't want to. I want to know what pale is. <laughs> I don't think your colleague would appreciate that. He has already been so patient with this whole exercise. Okay. Let's continue with something else. All right? You can ask about anything else in the world. Anything. Okay. You could sneak back later Ooh. when the lieutenant is not here. Unless you can convince him to step aside. Let me try this. Is what you want. Fuck! 
but seventy-two percent. Come on. Especially stated you shouldn't hear about oh, it. Oh, this Malaysian. What if okay. What you mad or catatonic? Yes. Hey. Had to have been of assistance. Hey. Give me that. Where is that? Yeah. Let's do this shit. Tell us to Joyce about the pair without Kim. With Kim. Don't give a Good fuck. Work. Good. So where is what the reality I rundown shit? More lessons in basic reality. Give me this. Good idea. Yes. Just ask him. He won't make a scene. Kim, can I talk to Ma'am alone for a second? Fine. Oh. Fantastic. See? What can he do? You're a grown man. Now, what is the pay? Are you sure you're sure? Your colleague seemed adamant. Yes, what is the pale? Okay. The pale is the most <coughs> geological feature of the world, detective. The separative tissue between the Eastlers. Hmm. It is the inter-Eastlery mass. So, wait. And what is an Isola? Isola is a Mycenaean word for a continent of matter enveloped on all sides by the pale. Also, isolation or landmass. We used to believe there was only one. In the last four centuries, we have discovered seven. Okay. Windy, Seol, Samara, Ilmara, Grad, Katla, and this Insulinde. And Insulinde is? An oceanic isola. It comprises mostly of water. Windy is the largest, Katla the coldest, Insulinde the bluest. What can I say? Hmm. Each is perishing and dear. Okay, what is the pale like? Achromatic, odorless, featureless. Hmm. The pale is the enemy of matter and life. It is not like any other or anything in the world. It is the transition state of being into nothing. You know, I don't know if you played uh, Resident Evil 3 remake. There are pale enemies in there. The white little guys. I hope I don't spoil it nothing to no one but yeah if you play that you know what and it in some case it seems like that it's full white i don't know yeah achromatic it's maybe the wrong term odorless i don't know maybe pale head smells like shit i don't know we can see we can send smell through video games so we don't know but yeah featureless no, they are pretty featureless in Resident Evil 3 Remake. They can regenerate. They are so fucking hard to kill if, if you don't have the fucking mag magnum. So, yeah, maybe... Yeah, it's not the right, you know... <laughs> the right things to compare the pale to the pale head of Resident Evil 3 Remake. But, yeah... I... I had that in mind, so I told you. Simple as that. The negation of being. The negation of... That's right. Hmm. The negation of being. She ties her hood around her neck. It's cold outside. So, is it here? No, detective. We're safe. Okay. It begins there, 6,000 kilometers to the north, Whoa. and even more to the south, east, and west. You are in the middle of the Isola. And uh, point north. There? An uproar of matter, darling. Rising into the pale, rolling, evaporating even, a mm. great vision. The area of transition between the world and the pale is called porch collapse. Okay. Imagine a grey coronal mist, cold vapour marked by spores of an opportunistic microorganism. Okay. A mold that's adapted to grow at the edge of the unrest. It's... A the most disco thing you will ever see. Whoa! You hear your disco. pulse rise. The air feels caustic and cold suddenly. What are its physical qualities? It's difficult to describe or okay. even measure. Something whose fundamental property is the suspension of properties. Physical, epistemological, linguistic. The further into pale you travel, the steeper the degree of suspension right down to the mathematical. Numbers stop working. No one has yet passed the number barrier. It may be impossible. So, if we are surrounded by pale, how do you get from Isola to Isola? Oh, it is so difficult for us. Hmm. A squall of birds. 
Hardware operated in the harbor. Firm. Self-evident. It is possible to force dimensions on the pale. Okay. In modern times, we can even compress its latitude, bouncing radio waves from one end to the other, shortening the path. Hmm. But it is still hard for humans to navigate the pale without getting lost or having our minds damaged. Whoa, so the pale can damage the mind? Extensively. How? Some say the damage stems from extreme sensory deprivation. Others argue that pale somehow consists of past information that's degrading, that it's rarefied past, not rarefied matter. They call it the blend over of the self. The pale does not only suspend the laws of physics, but also the laws of psychology, maybe history even. The human mind becomes over radiated by past. Who says and who argues? Who says and who argues? The logical positivists say, hmm. the dialectical materialists argue. What does this over radiation feel like? It feels terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay. International standards strictly limit civilian travelers to six days of pale exposure per year. Whoa. I, I will get a lot of experience from this, right? I guess so. It's more for her. Way more. You're not a civilian passenger? No, Lieutenant Dubois. I'm entrepreneurial business class. Okay. I'm cleared and trained for 22 days of pale transit annually. Whoa. Someone else you've met may have been exposed as well. The strange grey-haired woman in her lorry. Do lorry drivers pass the pale? Yes. Carried in the Experience. Ships. Only five, but Perfect better job. than nothing. Automation will abolish it soon. Hmm. You should ask the pale driver about this. See what she says. Absolutely. So, are you over radiating? Up to my gills, officer. Hmm. An acidic smile on her lips. It's getting worse every year. So, what is anthro anthropogenetic? Anthropogenetics is the scientific study of the pale, or a recent okay. iteration of it by way of Grad. The study of the pale reaches back 6,000 years. The Perikonarsians called it the Western Plain. All right. They have not traveled the entire circumference of the Perikonarsian Super Isola. It was not merely in the West. It was everywhere, even then, surrounding them. Did they cross it, the Western Plain? There are signs of pre-modern crossings. Successful navigation of the Pale relies not just on technical know-how, but intensive psychological preparation. Some of these tactics have been known for thousands of years. What has ant anthropogenetics changed then? Nothing. We remain powerless before the pale. The only real advance in pale transit is the speed with which an aerostatic craft can pierce it. Less exposure leads to less effects later. Aerostatic craft? Hybrid airships, detective. Conventional rotors or jet engines no longer add velocity after the point of reference for motion is suspended, once you cross from near pale to far pale. In essence, we throw them in and they come out the other end. If we throw them precisely. If we do not... Then they don't. All right. Gone like a skipping stone beneath the surface. So, how much pale is there compared to the world? The pale outweighs reality two to one. There is oh. more pale than there is matter. And the ratio is slipping. Whoa. Two to one, sleeping how? To our detriment or... What do you think, detective? <sighs> it's shrinking. There is more and more of the world. It's growing. There is more and more of the pale now. The world. I love the world, okay? Oh no, detective. It's not. It's, it one is. One of the few measurable effects of the pale is that it is expanding at an unknown rate. If you say an so. The intuitive conclusion of that development is that one day the pale will cover everything. But this hmm. sort of talk is mostly left to extremists. It's not extreme at all. I know it's going to happen. Cover everything? That can be. Where will we go? Most people, and indeed most private and government sector organizations, okay. entire civilizations and religions even, find handy ways to ignore or downplay that knowledge. Okay. I suggest you do the same. Goop. It doesn't look like you're doing the same. The suggestion was meant in earnest, detective. Live life. 
Absolutely. Let's return to reality, please. Yes, sweet reality. But before we do, tell me, Detective, is this the first time you're hearing this? Do you really not remember anything? I sometimes sense vague shadow of past, and it's not good. I'm getting a sense of who I am, but no, I didn't know this. I'm curious. Tell me, what do you think of the pale? It's terrifying. You were right. It's disco. It will handle all life. That we continue to persist at all is a testament of our faith in one another. Its advance can only be stopped with number four, maybe. A powerful anti-communist force, perhaps too powerful, but still they have... I'm worried, I have to say, it doesn't sound very liberal to me. I don't know how you will all survive with it. It's a huge competition. Who I am to think anything of it? I'll, for me, choices are number four, the one that I I'm highlighting right now, and number nine. Who the hell am I to say something about that? But let me say number four, that we, that we continue to persist at all is a testament of our faith in one another. Mm -hmm. Crowds feet radiate from them. She observes you, your, your bloodshot eyes and solemn face. Your ailing constitution, sweaty forehead, the beads there and your heavy breathing. Hmm. You really didn't know. This does not spell good for the investigation, detective. If you don't know even this, then... I handle it. It's under control. This investigation will be my will be my masterpiece. The one they remember me by, I promise. I hope so. I truly do. It will be. Fuck you. If I may suggest, hold on to your colleague, Kitsuragi. I ran a check on him and he is very competent. In the meanwhile Yeah, as do I. I'm competent too. And my colleague, yes. Don't fuck with him, okay, stupid asshole. You have me. Wow, experience. I assist you in any way I can, even if we have to do it one basic term at a time. Okay, good. You have not passed out from it. Hmm. Perhaps I worried for nothing. Are we still on the reality lowdown, or should we do actual police work now? You needn't have worried. But I did, anyway. He looks around a little uncomfortable now. Damn it! You're a grown man. The lieutenant thinks. Shouldn't have gotten protective here. Right, let's go to work, you dance. Good luck, detectives. Perfect. Hey, I didn't finish talk to You're the back. girl. Good. What I don't know I what, I, what I want to do. For, let's do, go with this first. I spoke with Laurie Man and Runabout. Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? Yes, new skill point. Wait. Where exactly are these eyes located? It doesn't really matter. And I, I do, do apologize for the surveillance. Wild Pines can't afford to be blind at a time like this. One of the tall buildings overlooking the roundabout, most likely. That would give them a read on the entire quarter. In any case, it's a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask, will there be an official investigation? I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Hmm. Of course, detective. Say that, Kim. In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. Finally. I wouldn't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands it. Okay. If you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. What? The words bloodbath sound cold. This is heavy. They taste of iron and strawberries. What was about a uh, bloodbath? Yes. I'm afraid this strike may descend into a small-scale civil war. Oh. With possible consequences for all of Rivershall West. Oh, that's big. That's a fucking big. Since you are sharing, man, this is also the RCM's worst-case scenario. Yeah. Then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. I've already heard about a connection between the lynching and strike, but I need your testimony. I have an indirect role to play, I'm sad to say. My okay. employer experienced a momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected mm. to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. Hmm. They called it my security detail. A momentary lapse of faith? 
They were dispatched after I relayed the Union's initial offer. Okay. Every worker... Hmm. A member of the board. I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of rhetoric, or a joke. They did not appreciate the humor. Do you need a security detail? Absolutely not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the Union into surrendering. Okay. Who are they, exactly? Cronel, an Oranese military company. As far as hmm. I know, three arrived in Oranese. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. Hmm. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons, and years ceramic of combat armor? experience. Whoa. They also have trauma and stressor disorder, and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian environment. Ceramic armor? So, what happened? The story is, one of them, the Colonel, I the don't know his real name, sexually assaulted a local woman while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant Union members to subdue him. Well, this in part stands true to what he, the Titus and the other guys said. And uh, come on, girl, how can I don't know his real name? Come on, give me the name. He was taken out behind the whirling in racks and lynched last Sunday night. But that's fake. Or at least we know that he was shot. What then? Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders. For now. For now? It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting okay. an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Whoa. Once this investigation is concluded, Executions will follow. What okay. is the nature of this so-called investigation? Hmm. Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. Whoa. It will be all of them. Hmm. The decision is already made. So, you've made a mess here. It was the Union who strung him from that tree. My hope is that you provide a single concrete suspect before Cronell indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, she she grabs hold on him if you on don't the main on file. someone good and do it fast they will identify and execute everyone present at the lynching this in turn will force the union to respond okay the brother have over two thousand men it will be a thousand to one okay have you ever seen a hornet invade a beehive lieutenant it's she is back hmm. the serai's giant hornet the world's second largest insect can kill 40 honeybees a minute, while a group of Whoa. 30 can decimate an entire hive of 20,000 bees in less than four hours. Well, pretty strong, if you ask me. This, this, this Sarah is giant hornet. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle-loaded weapons, even yours. Most union workers don't have guns at all. Okay. As I said, a bloodbath. Seeking, this is the great blood, blood letting I've been talking about. It appears you found it, yes, and I'm not happy for you. So I can't, I can't see it happen. Too many things will have to go wrong first. Too many things have already gone wrong. Hmm. Lieutenant Double Yefreta Dubois. Okay. All we can do is keep Whoa. that which is not from following Experience. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. Okay, what can you tell me about Kerner? Not much. Their public resume is relatively good, as far as private military contractors go. I believe they were once called Downwell. Okay. They boast a long list of clients. Saint-Baptiste, Welchman Lorenz, Eendracht. A warning sign, however. The operations concern all take place in third or fourth world countries. Guarding facilities, escort missions and such. Okay. Meaning they are used to operating in war zones. Alright. Yes. All the good conflict corridors, Supramundi, Yesut, the Seminese Islands, countries that don't have a good record reporting atrocious military conduct on their soil. Mm. Okay, anything else you got on them? Sadly, no. Before this happened, I had little interest in them. 
Now that I do, I don't have the resources. She thinks. If you still have access to the ICP's database, you could run a better background check than I ever could. It may take some time, though. She thinks. Do you know a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, ma'am? Hmm. In my line nice of question. work, it Kim? pays to do your research. I was prepared to deal with the RCM. I did not think I'd be dealing with a group like Cronell. Hmm. Could you contact the company, tell them to call them off? I have. And they will. Okay. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out in the field here. Okay. Until they do, it's all on us. All right. She's being truthful. She is pressing them as hard as she can. So, you said the season assaulted a woman? Or he didn't. This is information passed on to me from some teenagers loitering around the canal. I cannot okay. testify by it. Who did the passing hound then? The remaining contractors. Their tribunal. It's what they believe. What did these teenagers by the canal say? That the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around a bit. Okay. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. All right. The lieutenant consults his notebook, his eyebrows knitted in concentration. Okay. Uh, we haven't heard any reports about an assault in connection with the lynching. Yeah. Where did it take place? This is and new, when? in fact. Last Sunday night, at oh. the Whirling in Rags, oh. a hostel by the gates. Supposedly, the colonel was drunk, maybe on narcotics, too. And why this fucking guard don't say nothing? Either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. Sometime later, a group of dock workers got their hands on him. And who was this woman? That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. As I said, it's a rumor. About a rumor. In any case, it's what the colonel's remaining colleagues believe. Hmm. So, this colonel, the one who's hanged, did you know him? If you mean, did I see him alive? Yes. But I did not know him. His name was? Lely. Oh. His service name, a nom de guerre, most likely. He wouldn't divulge his full name. Okay. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. Tell me about the other first. One is a man, Corti, they call him, a okay. nickname as well. The other, a woman, Phyllis de Paul. Corti is the gunner. Okay. De Paul is a radio operator. All right. What would you say was his eye color? The deceased. Hmm. She closes her eyes, trying to picture the man's face, then shakes her head. Okay. I can't remember. There's a pang of regret to her voice. The lieutenant was testing her, asking a small detail first hmm. to see if she knew him better than she let on. She passed. Great, Kim. That's Fantastic. Right. Anything else? Nationality? What would you say was his age? He was 40. Or 50. Hmm. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age. Okay. Or gauge his facial expression. We know something. Indeed. This matches the dental reconstruction we saw on the body. What else? Nationality? Accent? He was uh, Occidental, oh. I think. Like brown hair, hmm. a mixed accent, or a knees, or Missinian, maybe. His injury gave him an accent all his own. Okay. In a way, it was humanizing. He had to learn to speak through it. Through the injury. That's all I know, I guess. I only met him once. This is good. We are gathering so many information about the dead body. That's incredible. We know a lot. Wow, this episode was fantastic. It must be hard to force your face to move in a new fashion. If you continue like this, you'll have an aneurysm. Then you'll have to. To... Yeah. So, where are the remaining two mercs now? They've gone to ground, as it were. I don't recommend seeking them out. For one, they're almost certainly armed to the teeth. And? They don't have the same respect for the Revachol citizens' militia as I do. To put it bluntly, they think you're vigilantes. Ghetto savages. Okay. It will not be a fruitful meeting. Well, uh... I don't have... I don't worry. I'm not scared. Fuck them. We still need to know where they are. You're likely to run into them eventually. Whoa. 
When that happens, I'll be in a better position to mediate if I don't appear involved. Where are these mercenaries? 90% logic 6 very high. Plus 1 sent by the pines. Plus 1 closed in a fit right. Plus 1 scab leader build li li like brick. Plus 1 death dress code. Ceramic knife. Yes! Look at the dress code that I have. He go no. The dress code in game, you know. Armor. Let's go. Give me that. One is obviously yeah. the scab leader. Give me that. The harbor gates. The one chanting the idiotic slogans. He's barely maintaining his disguise. Okay. The other has a vantage point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the lorry drivers. One must be gone. One must be the goon in ill-fitting work clothes by the harbor gates. The scab leader. That may be so. Whoa, that guy. I still hope you heed my advice. There's no need to kick the hornet's nest. Don't worry. For all your talk of averting this catastrophe, the hmm. situation at the gate is a border keg. Does this not bother you? Hmm. Of course it bothers me. But? Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. Hmm. How would my employer react if it appeared I were intervening on behalf of the Union? Hmm. Your concern may be appearances. Ours is keeping the peace. One is probably in the building overlooking the roundabout. That would afford a good vantage point. In any case, it's practically inaccessible. Where is your radio for contacting them, if I may ask? Do you have an earpiece? Okay. Heavens no. I'm not an undercover agent. There's a short wave at the ship's wheel. Okay. I had another question for I you. I hope I can answer it better. How much time do we have? Until the executions start. Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on okay. their progress identifying the members of the lynch mob and their impatience. All right. They don't report their progress to you? Not on this matter. I'm afraid they consider this a personal initiative. Okay, there is a brief silence. Seagulls quack over the bay. It's a matter of days, not weeks. Okay, so that's enough for now. I'm sorry to have been the bearer of bad news. If there is anything else I can help you with. Now, can you tell us. me about these tattoos? Yes! Show her the photo. She reaches for the Absolutely. Photo, takes it, then holds it in her hand. For about half a minute in silence. Okay. She wears fingerless gloves. Her fingernails are cut short and fractured, like those of a working woman. Okay. It was taken with a trigger not long ago. This is the man's upper body. There were no more markings on his hands or legs. Stay quiet. Observe the woman's expression. Her mouth is relaxed. The accordion lines near her mouth vanish. The pearls of her eyes move slowly on the photo's surface. Why do you think? Hey. Uh, sorry. I was trying to see if I can read the web of interdependencies between these points. The stars. Whoa. She points to one of the photo paper. I can't. But that's how you read this story. The points themselves don't have letters, numbers, anything. Their size, location on the body, and distance from each other tells you what they represent. Like blooms in a pattern? Close. Port cities. This is an Oranese map of the waterways. A sailor's tattoo worn by wayfarers of the Dolorean century. Whoa. Over 300 years Whoa. ago. The sailors would mark their bodies to map their travels. What is the use of this map? The sailor's soul would use it to fly back home if they should die abroad. Okay. This is a sort of contraption to be reeled back in by. The silver cord, they would call it. So what travels did, they, did the dead man make? Quite a few. Vrenefort, hmm. the Oranese capital. Okay. Traditionally stands on the right shoulder. He started somewhere near here. I think. Hmm. What next? Then he made his way to the Preto Grandi. Oh. I think must be the Stutz Canal, an artificial channel through the Occident. Preto Grande. From the Preto, hmm. He sailed to the Insulindic Ocean, first the Semnese Islands, then this. To his heart. What is that? Revachol. Those Whoa. are the two constants. Vedafort on the shoulder. And Revachol in the heart. Okay. They started the tradition of these maps right after the discovery of Insulinde. 
at the dawn of the interestellary age. All right. The old, old world passing by, and the new, new world already here. Yeah. You said you can't read it. Yeah. I can't. This man was no sailor, and these are no ports. I can understand geographic fragments, but not their meaning. Wow, maybe I can talk to the girl on the or the you know with the when the fisher at the fisherman's bay. In Martinez, looking into Grenoble, he writes in one. Then the man puts okay. down his pen and rubs his temples with both hands. Outside, there is a siren. Distant gunshots on the streets of the Jamrock Quarter. All right. Fredefort. Fredefort has a military academy. The Seminese Islands saw a recent conflict. In Revachon, he was executed. So, this man is no brother of mine, but this is service history. That makes sense to me. We have no more use for a map of the waterways. Hmm. Just like we don't need sailors the way we used to. This yeah. is what the custom would morph into on the Occident. Mercenary tattoos. Yeah, because, you know, the world now is different. We don't need a map to travel, you know. Yes, we need that, but... In a different way than before. For all the boys looking for adventure, a blood spatter on the seas. So, who could tell me more? His platoon members? The other contractors. Though I do not suggest you go and show them that picture. This man was their friend and comrade. Surely there are other people to ask about the tattoo. Hmm. This is not necessary to complete the task, officer. It's a dangerous side task. Search elsewhere. All right. Encyclopedia, knowledge range. Challenge range. accepted. I say you do it. I need the information. Mark down. Ask Max about that too. Yeah. Do what you have Give me to that. Do, Detective Dubois. I don't think deciphering that tattoo should come before public security. But if you should wade into the mob to find out, I couldn't stop you. Don't worry, ma'am. I will take the risk, so I'm the super cop, you know, Dick Mullen. You know me, you read my books, you don't, so fuck you. We will be careful, man. That's all for the tattoos. Thank you for your help. Is there anything else I can help you with? By the way, this is a hot topic for sure. I've talked to Edward Clare. You have? Yes. And how did you like Mr. Clare? Finally, time to choose sides. I didn't. Oh, come on now. He has his uses. How else would he have stayed in power all these years? Well, okay. wait. Actually... She's answering her own, her own question. Corruption. That's how he's done it. Fantastic, vermin-like corruption. Okay. Reaching into the bowels of the earth. She looks at the ground and nods. The position of my unusual colleague does not reflect official policy. I hope you understand. The RCM does not pick sides. Yeah. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a corrupt verm myself. Okay. However, if you felt like discussing something, how yeah. could I stop you? <laughs> Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's mm. take? It's only natural. We would only be gossiping intellectually speaking it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about these things especially Herbert, since he's a, a manipulating bitch tell her she'll like you for it i helped him turn the heat on burst he asked me to open the door i'd rather talk about something else for now if you don't mind mr Everett is helping me find my gun oh that's so helpful of him. Yes. The lieutenant looks at you, and you can swear his jaw muscle is trembling. Hmm. Unconventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then <laughs> go around and tell people about this to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. Hmm. Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? Mr. Everard says he's almost ready to be found soon. Did he now? Well, and it should be any day now. 
Unless, of course, he's lying to you. <laughs> anyway, was there anything else you've heard? Hmm, yeah. perhaps he is. I helped him turn up the heat on the borscht. Did you now? What sort of borscht is he making? Unimportant. The cook makes it to keep the strikers drunk. Helps them strike. The strike brew. That's a classic. Okay. And by turn up the heat, I presume you mean put more alcohol in it? Yes. Why, if I may ask? Why make them more drunk? Aren't they corked enough already? Yes, detective. What were you hoping to accomplish with this strange thing? An act born of sympathy for the working man. I set fire to the fumes of struggle. I worship Al Ghul in my ways. <laughs> it's interesting. I thought it would make the broth taste better. I worship all ghoul in my I'm way. <laughs> a very curious thing to do. Yeah. Truly. But that's how he operates. He just does things, man. And then talks about them. Even if it's inappropriate. Hmm. What else? He asked me to open the door. A referral, you mean? I take it this was for someone in the RCM. Don't answer that. Yes, a fella. No, I mean like a real door to someone's house. Oh my. A real door? The yeah. lieutenant does not say anything, <laughs> but you hear the nylon of his jacket rustle as he looks at you. I scared this Gary for Mr. Clare. He got pretty scared. It was nothing. I had to, he, it had to be done. He got information. It was useful to the case. That's good to hear, detective. Police work is rarely pretty. But it sounds like you did what you had to do. Yeah. Her bartering mind cannot fathom that you didn't ask anything in return. Okay. Frankly, what was done was not pretty at all, but neither was it illegal. And it was not for nothing. It turns to you. I advise you to be very selective with what information you choose to share. This may have consequences beyond our line of sight. The Union militant wing organized the lynching. Herbert says the Wild Pines sent mercenaries after the Union. Everard asked the Union's militant wing to fully operate with investigation. He didn't seem all at all worried about the whole conflict that's developing. That's all I've got to say. Let me see number four. I wouldn't have taken Everard for a saber rattler. Was he surrounded by Union men he wanted to impress? No. It was more no. like he wanted things to get worse. In secret, of course. We were alone, and he seems very sure of his ability to keep things in control. He wasn't trying to impress anyone. I think he wants to things to escalate. You're right, he was probably just showing off to me. Number two. Or he wants you and me to believe he wants to go to war. Of course, brinkmanship takes showmanship. We should have seen it before in his office. He might well have been performing for us. Okay. There's always that risk, man. But if I may offer my opinion, he means it. I think he may have just been me messing with us. Kim's right. I'm pretty sure he meant it. I'll think it over, detective. Thank you for relaying this information to me. Have no I problem. underestimated the Union's ferocity? She has to ask herself by now. Now, I don't know. Everyone said, can we say this? I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I feel like, let me see. There's some new thoughts. Ask Scab Leader about tattoos. Yes. Perhaps an other mercenary can tell you more about the hangman's tattoo. So the cult Scab Leader at Harbor Gates. It won't count as one of the people informing you about tattoos, but could be interesting. Let's talk, you know, let's start with this. Yes. That's the talk about town. The Hardy Boys, they're hmm. called. Find the name rather amusing, honestly. Everard says Wild Pine sent mercenaries after Union, and now one's there. Misinformation. This huh. is all because we haven't shared information on the lynching yet. See? Okay. Already the adversary uses it to their advantage. Don't let him. Hurry okay. up on that probe. The moment you tell me you're finished at the traffic jam, I will gladly tell you the company side of the story. She must really want you to look into the drugs. Okay. Otherwise she'd tell you. 
into the drugs. I did that already. So, Everard asks the Union's minute and wing to fully operate with their investigation. How benevolent. Hmm. Hopefully they'll help you sort this whole business out, if they haven't already. While we appreciate your assistance, ma'am, I'm afraid we can't discuss the specifics of an ongoing investigation with you. That is only fair. I have reason to believe the lynching was a cover-up. Well, I don't want to say this to her. I said all I can. Well, I hope it yields something. Otherwise, you'll have opened that door for naught. Anything else? That's all I've got to say. What you've said is quite enough. You've given me a lot to consider. And may have helped me prevent this conflict from escalating. I'd rather talk about something else for now, if you don't mind. Of course, Detective. Should something come up later, down the road, don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. Until all right. then, is there anything I can help you with? No, I guess we did everything with her. Almost. There's something that we need to do to her, but yeah next time now let's go here and yeah we we can ins go inside here and that's what we're gonna do next episode let me save the game absolutely let me go to the main menu and uh, what else to say what a great episode we knew so many information now now we're gonna talk to the people inside the door then we're gonna go to Whirling in Rags and close other quest suits too. And uh, yeah, what can I say? We are doing pretty well, right? Surprisingly well. We're gonna unveil the truth, okay? We're gonna do this shit. So, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We see all in the next video, as always. Bye.